Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for May 27th to June 2nd. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. Also, guys, um, my personal readings right now, my uh, personal readings are closed, so um, they'll be probably closed until about August. So I know a lot of you have been reaching out to me, but I'm not taking any personal readings right now. I will be offering a free contest for you guys. It'll be free to enter, you know, free to get involved with and free to get. So, and I'll also give you guys more details uh, in the next couple videos. Um, I won't be reaching out to you guys in the comments because I realize that there is spam down there. So, um, I will probably have you guys go to an email or go to my website. Okay. All right. So guys, obviously there's your general messages. You can check your moon, your rising and your sun sign for more information. Your sun represents your soul. Your moon represents your emotions and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are. So feel free to cross watch for more information. We're going to go over your love interest feelings, uh, the blockages for this week. Uh, some messages the day to day and then the overall so if you guys like it this way hit that like button let me know in the comments below or you can do both stick with me to the end let's jump right in. all right so I've already shuffled the deck so I'm just gonna move these cards around and then we're gonna jump right in here so it's gonna have my Scorpio's romantic love life for May 27th to June 2nd show my cards I need to see show my cards I need to see okay What's gonna have my Scorpio's romantic love life May 27th to June 2nd? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. What's gonna have my Scorpio's romantic love life May 27th to June 2nd? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Okay, so we're gonna start with this person's feelings for you. We got the full card energy. We got the Knight of Swords energy. Or for this deck, it's the Prince of Swords. We got the Seven of Pentacles energy. We have the Communication energy. The Isolation energy. And the Socializing card. Let's move this over so you guys can see. Okay. And then Lenormand, we got the Mountain card energy. The Letter card energy and the fox card energy. Okay, so let's go through this. So this person feels like they are naive or they feel like they have to take some kind of risk or there's a risk here around this. Um, but they do wanna take a leap of faith because they, got, they wanna co communicate with you guys, okay? Uh, your love interest wants to have heart to heart conversations here and why because they have a sense that there is a, a lot of blockages delays and challenges here so they're they're ready to overcome these these challenges these delays and blockages and they want to talk to you about this this person feels like they need to make an abrupt decision knight of swords energy okay because this person feels that there is a lot of isolation between you and them okay with the isolation card this person wants to give you a text message a facebook message okay they want to have a conversation here this person feels like they've been waiting around to see how things are going to play out with the seven of pentacles energy and they're ready to socialize with you or they feel like maybe you have a lot of choices and options and maybe that's why they've been waiting here and they feel like maybe there's something deceptive here with the fox card energy about it. So this person feels like, okay, I want to take a risk here to make an abrupt decision because I've been waiting around to see how things are going to play out. I want to communicate with Scorpio about the fact that I have a sense of isolation and I want to go out with them with a socializing card or I want to talk to them about the fact that I feel like maybe there's other people involved, okay. They feel like, okay, I want to overcome these blockages, delays, and challenges by having this text message about this potential sly, slick behavior with the fox card energy. Okay, Scorpio, um, let's go a little further since I want a little bit more information because it just seems like I want to communicate with you. I want to text you. Okay, can I have some more information from my Scorpios when it comes to their love interest feelings towards them? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see Scorpio they feel that you are their soulmate connection 
They feel like they need to reveal some things to you. Obviously, we know that. And they feel like they're trying to let go of control issues and allow things to unfold naturally with you. They feel like they want to recapture playfulness with you, so they really want to recapture some moments that you've had before in the past. This, this person wants to take you out on a honeymoon or they want something more serious there with the honeymoon card. Okay, they want to take you on vacation. And yes, they want some passionate time with you, Scorpio. Okay. And they are praying uh, about the situation. Uh, there you go with the flirt card energy. Okay, so it definitely gives me more information here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at, Scorpio, is I want to see what the blockages are for this week for you. Let me move this out of the way here. Okay, so we got the Hermit card energy coming out. We have the Very Soon card coming out, okay. And we have the Clouds card energy coming out. So let's go through this, Scorpio. Okay, so what is your blockage this week? It's just the fact that you are, and the Hermit card energy is a Virgo energy. You are analyzing, you're soul searching, you're looking at things very deeply here. Um, and it looks like really what the blockage is, is a decision needs to be made because it says very soon the waiting is over. And also there's a sense of confusion about this. You need to gain clarity here. That's part of the block Chilean challenge. So now let's take a look at before we go into the day today, I want to get you guys some messages here of what you need to know for this week. Can I have some messages for my Scorpios of what they need to know this week that could help them with their situation? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. The question is, what do you need to release here, Scorpio? And we see the powerful change card. I'm going to just go through this and then we're going to go over it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's go over this. So the question is, what do you need to release here? Because remember Scorpio, the eclipse energy is coming up. It's going to be hitting your first house, right? That's going to be, we're doing this for the 27th, but eclipse energy uh, is happening on the 26th. So um, it's going to affect your sign for the next two weeks or even a couple months as astrologers talk about. And what does it say here? What do you need to release? So you can expect this huge change here because the answers that you need are coming. So what you have to do first, Scorpio, is you have to release whatever's going on with you. You have to release this, release it so that you can have this big change. And then the answers will come to you. But also you need to be practical when it comes to your dreams and your plans here. Remember, Taurus Energy talks about, you know, family and money and long-term commitments here, right? That's a Taurus Energy. It's solid energy. It's saying that luck is on your side and things are going to move in your favor. So momentum and, and the universe is moving in your favor here. But realize you have to make some adjustments here. Okay, adjustments are required. And we can just pull one more card here. Yeah, because you're about to end a tough cycle here. Okay, so now I want to go into your day-to-days here. Okay, so this is going to be for the 27th. Oh, wow. The 28th and the 29th. Good cards. And then we have the Hope card energy. Let's move this over. And the Wheel of Fortune energy, what the cards say, things are moving in your favor. And the Missing You card, okay. So this is 27th, 28th, 29th. Remember, we're going to take it all the way to the 2nd of June. Okay, Scythe card energy, Star card energy, and the Doll card energy. Okay, so let's take a look at this here. Oh, my camera just wants to keep acting up today. Okay, well, let's move to this camera then. Okay. There's definitely hope here for you on the 27th. There is a hopeful day here, all right? And it's something to do with your wishes and hopes here because it looks like somebody's gonna travel towards you. They're gonna take charge of things and you're gonna have a victory here because of this decision. It's gonna be abrupt in nature with the Scythe card being there, but this abrupt decision, this sense of cutting something away, cut something out, this action that's being taken here 
it's going to bring hope in your romantic love life okay and then on the 28th we see the lovers card energy now the lovers represents a twin flame soulmate connection okay taking place a start of a relationship or some kind of relationship there two people coming together or a choice being made with the heart again it's saying that there is hope here for you with the star card energy because things are going to move in your favor here with the Wheel of Fortune card. So, so far, things are all aligning for you here, Scorpio, okay? And then we see on the 29th, we see that there is a friend. And love and abundance are a nurturing energy, because remember, she is the mother of the Major Arcana. So there's a nurturing energy here, or this, this sense of uh, starting a family, because she also represents starting a family. Loyalty and wanting to start a family, and they're missing you. They long for your embrace once again here. So let's go through it. So it's like, all right, there's a decision that's being made that's really hopeful about loyalty or friendliness. There's a victory here because of a twin flame soulmate connection and love and abundance is here for you. There's hopefulness because you know that things are moving in your favor and they miss you. They long for your embrace once again. Okay, so let's now go to the 30th here. So let me move this out of the way. I'm going to move this up here. Okay. So now we're going to the 30th here. So we see friends. And we see the doll card energy can represent a friend, okay? Someone who's a friend, possibly through work. Adverse could be uh, something to do with abundance, right? And then missing you, okay? Uh, this could be someone who's being friendly and uh, wants to be very nurturing and caring because they miss you, okay? So we see friends. And then there you go. You're radiating this attractive energy here, Queen of Wands energy, Aries Sagittarius Leo energy, and there's something healing about that day. And then we see on the 31st, oh my God, Scorpio, soulmate connection. And they're going to speak their truth. This truth is going to come out here. Oh my God, again, for some of you, there's a work-related thing because the bear card energy can be strength, control, work, or boss. There, there's, uh, there's, there's a truth that's coming out possibly for some of you at work about the soulmate connection. Okay. We see family, long-term commitment here on the first. And there is something, again, hopeful star card energy, something to do with your wishes being fulfilled. And there's improvements and changes happening, Scorpio. Scorpio, and here's, here's the thing. The Empress is coming out, okay? I haven't seen the child card energy yet, but the bear card can represent a parent, right? A parent kind of energy, a nurturing kind of energy, a supportive energy, and then the stork brings some of the babies and we got the Empress card. So for some of you, there may be a want to start a family and we see the family cards underneath that. There's hope to start a family with this soulmate connection. They wanna speak that truth to you. Okay, so let's keep going. Oh my God, some of you are gonna deal with a reconciliation here which is gonna cause some arguments and fights or competition. There's the child card energy, the fresh start, new opportunity, Scorpio. Wow, okay, so a decision is being made here which brings hope and loyalty and friendliness or something to do with a friend which causes some healing and strength around improvements and changes because of fresh start, new opportunity or something to do with a child or starting a family. There's hope here because things are moving in your favor. They really miss you. And there's a friend here that's involved with the situation and the soulmate connection for family, long-term commitment, and a reconciliation. There's a victory here because the twin flame soulmate connection and love and abundance and this chemistry and passion speaking a truth about their wishes and hopes to um, have a fresh start and new opportunity after arguments and fights, five of wands energy. Wow. Okay, we're going to go look at the overall now, Scorpio. Let's just take a look at what's going on with the overall now. Give me a second here. Move this out of the way. You got the twin flame soulmate connection and things are moving your favor. This truths are coming out. This reconciliation possibly for some of you with a, um, someone from your past here who's a soulmate connection. Got a lot of stuff going on this week. Okay, let's see what's going on with the overall here. Obviously, we see complete love. A commitment towards complete love, something to do with marriage. And here we got this defensive energy. I don't want to get hurt. 
I love you, right? My feelings are real and worth exploring. I'm committed to this. I'm committed to you. I'll commit me to engage your marriage, Scorpio. But I don't want to get hurt. I feel defensive about getting hurt. Mm -hmm. Emperor card energy is coming out again. Boss, control, or taking control because they, they really love you. Yep, message of love is coming in. New path in love. A commitment to engage your marriage. Judgment card energy. Wow. Judgment card energy could talk about, for some of you, a reconciliation with somebody from your past. But you're, it looks like you're a bit defensive about getting hurt here. Ship card traveling towards you and revealing some things about a person. So someone travels towards you and reveals something about this person. Or there's some kind of movement, travel, or change and happiness because of this person. So definitely a person card's coming out. What do I always say about the person card? It's something to do with the person involved with the reading or the, the person that you're reading about, right? So that could be that connection or it could be the person you're reading about. So we see that there's something being revealed from this person. So obviously we saw that for some of you, friends are involved with situations. So a friend may be helping to reveal this truth about this reconciliation, okay? Because we see this person above it. Let's go further down deep on this. Okay, nurturing energy, that's that Empress card energy. Ex-partner, yep, that's clarification that somebody from the past. Them wanting to bring things into balance. Taking an action towards their passion because of being single and available to pursue because of a soulmate connection. Mm -hmm. Knowledge of a commitment, engagement, or marriage, and a visit to you. They want to visit you. They're committed to this visit or... They want to gain knowledge about a commitment and they, they want to gain news about this. So how, here's what I feel is going on with you Scorpios. I feel like what's going on is, okay, there's a situation where you have um, your ex-partner uh, wants to get back with you, okay? And they, it looks like they may be going through a friend or somebody possibly through work to get information, to get news or messages to help with a reconciliation with you, okay? And uh, because it's this person is coming out and it's like, I don't want to get defensive. So they're trying to get some information here. That's what I feel like. Yep, make an effort because of romantic feelings and this, the fact that there is uh, still some unhealthy things that need to be cut away or cut out or they make this abrupt decision. Yep. Queen of Cups, love, something secret about work. There's the Eight of Pentacles energy, work or school. Somebody's going to go through uh, another person. Love and something to do with stuck energy or something to do with stability and stableness in house and family. Scorpio, 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 you know I want to hear from you guys. Yes, I want to hear from you guys. This is a very interesting week. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you guys like this, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yes, I want to hear from you, Scorpio. Yes, 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 I want to hear from you. Uh, I will be releasing the bi-weeklies in another day or two, possibly more like a day, because I'm a little bit behind with the readings, so I'm going to get the bi-weeklies out sooner than later. And it's going to include the couples and then the singles. So couples will be separate than singles. You know, it'll be two different readings. So check that out. Um, that's how I'm going to do the bi-weeklies next time. Um, and also, guys, you can check out uh, what does your love interest secretly want you to, to know for June uh, as well as that's already out right now. And, you know, uh, the X returns, obviously, you may want to check out the X returns considering the fact that the X stuff was coming up in this reading. Yep. Uh, all right. All right. I love you guys. Thank you to all my members and I'll see you guys soon.